In this video, we're going to show you everything we did on Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas Day 3. Something that is inevitable when you cruise are sea days. Some people love it, some don't. But when you're on one of the biggest ships in the world, there's always something to do. Which is why I want to show you guys how we spent our sea day. Stick around and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, so our first stop is at Windjammer on deck 16 for breakfast. The food there is seriously amazing. I had some freshly ordered omelet, kanji, and the smoked salmon was definitely a favorite. Next off, we heard there's a parade at the Royal Promenade, but unfortunately we got there a bit too late, so the view wasn't great. But later I managed to find a slightly better angle and hear some of the clips we recorded. playing some pool volleyball. There was not enough people, so we had to do 3v3. And it's really hard way to play pool ball with 3v3 because you can't really move in the water. Anyways, we lost, unfortunately. But there's real volleyball at three and four today, so let's try to win that and get some medals. We played in the pool right behind me. Really excited to play water volleyball, but it turns out only six people showed up. We decided to play 3v3, but it was so hard because you barely move when you're in the water. In the end, we lost, but that's okay. This is only day three. We're about to go on the water slides, the two of them, the two you see right behind me, and let's see how on it it's gonna be. Let me show you guys what's up the stairs. Normally there's a long line, and once you get to the top, you can choose to either slide down the yellow and blue slide or the green slide. Personally, I like the green slide because it's more unique since it had a bowl in the middle, which most people got stuck. We called it the toilet bowl slide. <laughs> Since we already went from the slides, we decided to try the float rider. If you don't know what that is, pretty much it's a wave simulator. It mimics the feelings of real waves so you can try things like boogie boarding and if you're brave enough, even try surfing. When you hit the back of the wall, it literally hurts so much and you get disoriented. And when you try to understand what just happened, the water gets in your eyes, so really, it's just a downward fall from there. Fall down seven times and get up eight. A true mark of an athlete is one who has resilience. Even though I'm not an Olympic surfer or whatnot, I still want to try and learn how to do it better despite the pain and white belts. If the instructors can see that you are capable of doing some basics, then they will teach you some more advanced moves. In my case, how to stand on my knees. I couldn't figure out how to stand on my knees without falling. It was quite tricky. For my next cruise, improving at Flowrider is going to be one of the goals. We were about to move on, we saw this one dude that had the skills. For him, it was like a walk in the park. It was so easy for him that he even purposely splashed other people. He worked here. Oh, really? Yeah. We just finished Flow Rider and that was super hard. Oh, that was so hard. I kept falling. It, looked, it doesn't look that bad, yeah, but like, you're on it, it's so hard to control. There's some people that are so good. They Everyone like, makes it look easy. Yeah. We just kept wiping out. Over here, these people are surfing. Now we're having some lunch at Windjammer. Got quite a lot of food. And we have this seat here, which it looks over the sports court. And so we can see when they set up the volleyball. Once they set up, we can just head down there and have some fun. If you lost me, the first place to check out is the sports court. I spent a lot of time there at the sports deck, 
whether it was playing volleyball, pickleball, dodgeball, or anything else, I was always happy to be there. It was also located in a very nice place with a nice view, so why not? We are now heading towards dinner. Today, uh, we are not going to our usual time, which is at 7, but we're going to, I think, a my time dining, so we can go to an earlier one at around 5.30. After that, there's volleyball crew versus guests, so we want to participate in that, and that's going to be very exciting. Dinner is on the other side of the ship, so I'm just going to walk through Central Park because it's nice to walk around here, and you get some live plants, fresh air. Let's just walk around to go to the other side and head towards dinner. so nice because you're inside, but the open roof makes it feel so alive. There's park cast so you can eat that this is included. This is kind of like Windjammer in the food, but a little bit less variety. But if you want to eat in here, instead of Windjammer on deck 16, you can also eat there with a nice view. This is the Rising Tide Cafe. It comes all the way up here to deck 8. I'm gonna look at the menu here instead of looking inside so we can know what we want before we enter. And for the stars, I'm gonna get the beef casio. For the main course, I'm gonna get New York strip steak and creamy mushroom risotto. And for dessert, I'm getting the tiramisu cake. The food here doesn't look too special today, but it still has good things that I wanna eat. Looks really good. The right thing I was waiting for is the New York strip steak. It looks very good. It looks juicy with that butter, potato, and some vegetables. So let's dig in and try this out. It looks good. Let's get this butter and lavish it on right now. Huh? Load this with butter. That might be too much, but let's try this now. That looks good. Yeah, looks good. All right, my entree number two came. So the first one I got was steak. That's devoured. And now I got a mush, creamy mushroom risotto. Looks pretty good, but also very filling. I expect it to be smaller, but I'll try my best to finish it. We 
playing some dodgeball. It was actually supposed to be volleyball. At least, that's what the app planner said. But it turned out to be dodgeball, so, oh well. Later, we did something unexpected. Five crew members versus 50 guests. So we just finished some volleyball against the activity staff and I decided to come up here to check out what there is. Some pork chop fish and some beans looks very good. And after this, we're gonna go to the skating show 1897. Excited to see that come along. All right, this is the Windjammer at nighttime. Let's see what they have. Grilled pork chop. The food was so good that I ended up getting three plates. The fish fillet was especially good, super soft and full of flavor. After this, we went to watch an ice show called 1887. This was so cool. This is different from the typical Broadway shows at the theater. If you can, this is a must try show. The shadow of the Eiffel Tower is just beginning to stretch over the Parisian landscape. We are in the middle of the Industrial Revolution. Aviation pioneers are starting to explore the skies. We have like 30 minutes of clips, so I'll just show you some of the highlights. If you're interested in watching the full show, then I'll have the full video in the link below or in my channel called 1887. Make sure you're subscribed to get notified. That will take us beyond the limitations of time and space. Lit by the glow of the enchanted bouquet, Juliet's journey and quest for a love of her own begins. Guided and protected by her mystical escort, Tempus.
end of day four on Harmony of the Seas. I can't believe it's day four already. Wait, it's actually day three. Thank you for watching. This is the end of day three. If you want to watch the full ice skating show, I will have that uploaded on my channel. Thank you and make sure to subscribe to be notified. And lastly, Happy New Year's everyone.